So every Friday, I'd like to do something called Fearful Symmetry Fridays, in which, I would, in which I'd go over a passage from the book Fearful Symmetry by Northrop Fry, and perhaps how it relates to Jordan Peterson, or perhaps it's just a really eloquent passage. In this case, um, I'm going to go over three worlds and how they relate to um, Jordan Peterson. I'm going to exit the slides for a moment so I can get to the passage, which is right here. Now this goes over something... Um, earlier in the book about a Guinea son and what um, William Blake replied to. So he was asked, um, what it will be questioned when the sun rises, do you not see a round disk of fire somewhat like a Guinea? And Blake replies, oh no, no, I see an innumerable company of the heavenly host crying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. So it's he's sort of demonstrating something and uh, Fry does a really great job uh, explaining exactly what he means by that. But we're going to go just a little bit beyond that. But just in case you're confused about what he's referring to about a, a guinea son, it's from that, that little quote there. It is no use saying to Blake that the company of angels he sees surrounding the sun are not there. Not where? Not in a gaseous blast furnace across 90 million miles of nothing, perhaps. But the guinea sun is not there either. To prove that he sees them, Blake will not point to the sky, but to, say, the fourteenth plate of the Job series, illustrating the text, when the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. That is where the angels appear, in a world formed and created by Blake's imagination, and entered into by everyone who looks at the picture. It appears, then, that there are not only two worlds, but three, the world of vision, the world of sight, and the world of memory the world we create, the world we live in, and the world we run away to. The world of memory is an unreal world of reflection and abstract ideas. The world of sight is a potentially real world of subjects and objects. The world of vision is a world of creators and creatures. In the world of memory, we see nothing. In the world of sight, we see what we have to see. In the world of vision, we see what we want to see. These are not three different worlds, as in the religions which speak of a heaven and hell in addition to ordinary life. They are the egocentric, the ordinary, and the visionary ways of looking at the same world. I love that passage. I think it's, it's really eloquent and, and interesting. So as we relate it to Jordan Peterson, Jordan, uh, just like uh, William Blake, thinks art is very important to life. William Blake thought that it was that true art was a recreation of the biblical narrative. And Jordan Peterson believes that the biblical narrative is essential to um, our, our lives as, as human beings. So regarding the three worlds, um, you'll notice that in Jordan Peterson's Maps of Meaning, he sort of, in a Blakeian sense, I think, describing how our minds and our consciousness meet the world of objects sort of halfway out there. It's not like Sam Harris says that the world of objects reveals itself to us and we are passive receptors through our five senses, but rather our mind is meeting the world of objects out there with our intentions, our hopes, and our vision, as Blake would say. So therefore, a tree stump, as Jordan said in the, his talk to Yaron Brooks at the Ayn Rand Institute, a tree stump can reveal itself, or we can imprint upon it, uh, its chairness. And so what the, in, in the world of objects might have just been a stump to 99 out of 100 people, that one out of 100 could see the stump as a chair and use it as such. So we have the world of vision. That's the world we create. And I'm kind of going over in these slides just briefly what uh, Northrop Fry went over in, in, that, in that passage. I'm just kind of singling out each each different thing because he sort of went over a lot of stuff in succession. So there's the three worlds, the world of vision, the world of sight, and the world of memory. The world of vision is the world we create, a world of creators and creatures, images and imaginers, as Blake would say. It's fueled by imagination, imagination or a poetic genius or perhaps the consciousness of God. We see what we want to see, and it's a place of um, for visionaries. 
The world of sight is the world we live in. Potentially real world of subjects and objects. And I think this is where Jordan Peterson plays into the potential of the world. He talks about us as human beings having potential or us talking about potential as if it's a real thing, like you're not living up to your potential. So there's, there's a potential world out there. It's either a heaven or a hell, as he has um, sometimes said. Um, we see what we have to see. So in that case, there are, there's just a set amount of interpretations we can have regarding the objects of the world. They are giving us sense data, and our senses are such that we have to perceive just a certain kind of object out there. It's the ordinary world. The world of memory, now this is something Blake often um, railed against. It was He associated it with Locke and Newton and, and Bacon. It's the world we run away to, a retreating world. It's an unreal world of reflection filled with abstract ideas. And as Blake said, what is abstracted from your sense perception is also somewhat a subtraction of what was there. You never remember exactly what you were perceiving. So in that, in that sense, it's kind of less real. Not only can it be an abstraction, but it's also a subtraction. So in that world, we see, quote, nothing. And it's the egocentric way of looking at the world. So keeping that in mind, I'm just going to go back one more time and read this part here. It appears then that there are not only two worlds, but three. The world of vision, the world of sight, and the world of memory. The world we create, the world we live in, and the world we run away to. The world of memory is an unreal world of reflection and abstract ideas. The world of sight is a potentially real world of subjects and objects. The world of vision is a world of creators and creatures. In the world of memory, we see nothing. In the world of sight, we see what we have to see. In the world of vision, we see what we want to see. These are not three different worlds, as in the religions which speak of a heaven and hell in addition to ordinary life. They are the egocentric, the ordinary, and the visionary ways of looking at the same world. Anyway, I, I hope you find that interesting and maybe it, it inspires you to pick up uh, Fearful Symmetry and read it for yourself. Um, I want to go through the whole book and just hit uh, much of it every Friday. So if you, if you like that idea, uh, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you.